Welcome to Week 8 Vocabulary. It's Monday and we're ready to take a look at some new words. I hope you're ready to join me. Let's go. The first word this week is beneficial. Beneficial is an adjective and it means producing good or helpful results or effects. Useful, favorable. Exercise is very beneficial for your health and well-being. Okay, our next word is dialogue. Dialogue is a noun and it is the things that are said by the characters in a story, movie, play, etc. And here we have a nice family having dialogue. I love this park. Me too, Daddy. Yeah, thanks for bringing us, Dad. It is wonderful, dear. Lovely dialogue at the park. Some synonyms for dialogue are conversation, lines, and script. My family makes games using dialogue from movies. Sometimes someone has to guess the movie the dialogue comes from, and sometimes they try to carry on a conversation using only dialogue from a movie. To infinity and beyond, there's a snake in my boot. Toy Story! Well, I can't for the life of me figure out what the next word is. Oh, wait. It's coming. It's elusive. It means hard to understand, define, remember, or puzzling. It's an adjective. Any leads on the Park City bank robber? Nope. He's held up five banks, we've got him on videotape, and have clear pictures, but this guy's elusive. We just can't seem to figure him out. The next word is unscrupulous. And we all know unscrupulous people. Unscrupulous is an adjective. It means not honest or fair, doing things that are wrong, dishonest, or illegal shady or crooked. The unscrupulous real estate agent sold us the house even though she knew and didn't tell us that it flooded during heavy rains. Despicable, isn't it? Stealthy. Stealthy is an adjective. It means quiet and secret in order to avoid being noticed. Sneaky or underhanded. The stealthy cat quietly waited for the right time to attack its prey. Okay, ready for a quiz? Got those five words down? Let's see if we can use them in context. A college degree is very blank for those looking to start a career. Which new vocabulary word would fit in that blank? The answer is beneficial. A college degree is very beneficial for those looking to start a career. The blank in the Big Bang Theory is what makes the show so funny. Can you fill in that blank? What makes the show so funny? It is the dialogue. It's the dialogue between those goofy characters. This blank crocodile is sitting quietly camouflaged 
as he waits for something that looks tasty to come along. I bet he'll make his presence known when that happens. What do you think? What kind of crocodile is that? It is a stealthy crocodile. Normal is an extremely blank concept and hard to define. What adjective describes the word normal? Here's a clue. What? These are my normal clothes, and this is how my friends dress, too! Normal is an extremely elusive concept, and it is, indeed, very hard, if not impossible, to define. Joe demonstrated blank behavior when he copied off of Andrea's test. What word describes Joe's behavior? His behavior was absolutely unscrupulous. There are no new prefixes or affixes this week. So let's review some that we've already learned and been tested on. Duct is a root in the words conduct, induct, and viaduct. Duct means what? It means to lead or pull. And here's your challenge. Define those words using the root definition. For is a prefix in the words forward, foresight, and forewarn. For means... Before or previous. Can you again define the words using the prefix definition? Okay, let's try some previously tested words. There was a blank of ruffles down the front of her wedding gown. Cascade, she had a cascade of ruffles down the front of her wedding gown. And this is a blank of the book Good Night Moon. This one's called Good Night iPad. It's a parody. Good Night iPad is a parody on the book Good Night Moon. This is an example of an excellent filing what? Fill in the blank. It is an excellent filing system. Color-coded in everything. Well, that's all we have for this week. I hope it's been beneficial in helping you learn the words. And have a great week. Peace, bro.